everyone and welcome back to my channel. I've changed the setup again because I actually have moved around my room. I'm not really sure if I'm liking this setup, but you know, let me know if you like it. It just gives me a lot more space. Um, it is a bit cramped behind me, which is why I don't really have a full setup. Uh, but yeah, I just thought I would change it. So today I'm going to be doing a holiday party look, uh, makeup look slash hair look. Uh, this is in collaboration with Joelle, who is from America, and we've been like YouTube friends for a long, long time. Um, she's a really, really lovely girl, and her videos are similar to mine, but she's a lot more creative. She does a lot more creative things, um, and like vlogs and things like that. So I will leave all her links in the down my below, so make sure to go and check her out and give her a subscribe. Leave her a comment saying I sent you, and yeah, if you're from Joelle's channel, then hello, uh, welcome to my channel. Hit that subscribe button if you want to. So I'm going to start with my hair, well, part of my hair actually, because I'm going to be curling it. I'm going to be using my Tresemme heat defence. Um, so this is just like the travel size because I normally take it when I go on holiday. I'm just going to spray it through my hair and then brush it through. Um, because obviously you want to protect your hair if you're curling it especially if you're putting a lot of heat on it, on it. so I'm just going to spray it through and then I'm going to make sure to spray the ends like so like so and then I'm just going to brush it through to make sure that it's really in there I actually have a lot of knots <laughs> which is not the best, but yeah. So I'm gonna brush it through like so, and then I'm gonna let it dry because I think that's what some people forget to do. They put heat spray on and then they um, put heat on it immediately after. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do or not, but I genuinely like to let it dry first before, before I put any heat on it. So I'm gonna clip this back like so. It might look a bit crazy, but oh well. And I'm going to get into the makeup because the makeup is what I'm going to do next. So I'm going to fast forward this bit because you guys have all seen like how I do my face and stuff. But obviously I'm going to show you guys how I do it.
done my makeup, I'm gonna move on to hair. I'm using my fabulous curlers. These are just the normal ones, I guess. I'm gonna preset it to 180 degrees, which is like the second one up. I'm gonna leave that to um, heat up. So I'm gonna start, I normally start with my left side, so my left, uh, which will be your right. And I normally clip the other side up or away from my face so that I can actually properly curl my hair. And then I'm going to section it into pieces. So I'm going to think I'm going to section it into half and do half in a minute. And what I do, which is different from other people, is normally I would hairspray my hair after, but I like to do it uh, before as well because I think it holds the curls longer. So what I do is I don't spray loads of this a little bit. So, like that, and then I'm going to run my brush through my hair so it doesn't go all crispy and horrible, and then I'm just going to start curling. So, today's look, I'm going to be grabbing like one inch pieces, which is about that much, I would say, maybe a bit less, but that is like the perfect thing to want to do. I'm going to be curling it towards the face, so I'm just going to grab the bottom and I'm going to curl it towards the face. And then I will leave it for about 10 seconds and then obviously I will take it off. So I don't want to leave it on for too long because I don't want to burn my hair or anything like that. So for 10 seconds is about enough. I will also like fill the hair and make sure that it is heating up properly. So I'll leave it about there. So that's probably about right. And then it just creates like these perfect curls and I always find that when I use hairspray the curls are so much nicer they're just a bit more intact and they will last a lot a lot longer if you use the hairspray before but obviously hairspray makes your hair feel a bit crispy and horrible in my opinion so I always like to brush it out after not a lot but just a little bit so that the crispiness is gone so yeah I'm gonna this one and then I'm just going to speed it up because I won't be using this forever. I curled my hair and did my makeup and I'm wearing this matte finish matte by Bourjois which is really really nice and it just gives a matte look which is always really nice for like a party look and yeah you can either obviously have your hair down fully or part some of it or clip some of it back either way whichever you want to do whichever you feel most comfortable and I think that's it so yeah don't forget to go and check out Joelle's video make sure to subscribe to her and I will see you in the next video Bye. Morning guys, um, so for today's video I thought I would vlog again because I am going to somewhere which is going to be really exciting. Um, I'm just about to put some makeup on and I will chat to you in a bit. So I've done my makeup, I'm yet to do my hair, that's next. I've decided to wear a hoodie, a 